Ever wondered why your FPS drops out of nowhere, even on a high-end gaming PC? It's not always your graphics card or the game itself. The real culprit is Windows. Beneath the surface, your system is loaded with hidden services, background tasks, and sneaky features that silently hijack your CPU, RAM, and even network while you play. Today, we're uncovering the invisible FPS killers inside Windows and showing you how to take that performance back. Because if you don't fix these, no upgrade or tweak will ever give you true smooth gameplay. Let's get started. What's with with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Step 1. Identifying the real FPS killers. Most gamers don't realize that their FPS drops are not always caused by the game itself, but by hidden Windows processes quietly running in the background. These tasks hijack your CPU power, memory, and even disk usage right when you need them most. It's like racing a car with the handbrake half on. Your PC is capable of more, but Windows is silently holding it back. That's why identifying these real FPS killers is the first step, because until you know what's dragging your system down, any optimization will be incomplete. To find the culprits, press Win plus R, type Resmon, and hit Enter to open the Windows Resource Monitor. You can also use Process Explorer from Microsoft's SysInternal Suite. While keeping your game running, sort the list by CPU or disk usage to see what's hogging resources in real time. Pay special attention to processes like searchindexer.exe, Windows Search, CompactTelrunner.exe, Telemetry, Moyuzo CoreWorker.exe, Windows Update, Game Bar Presence, Writer.exe, Xbox Game Bar, or Widgets.exe, Windows Widgets. None of these are viruses, they're built-in Windows features, but they have no business stealing power during your gaming sessions. Once you've spotted them, you'll be ready to shut them down in the next steps. Benefit. By identifying hidden FPS killers, you gain full control over what's affecting your gameplay. This ensures that every tweak you apply afterward is targeted and actually boosts performance. Step 2. Disabling network tracking. Windows includes a hidden kernel driver called NDU Sys, Network Diagnostic Usage. Its job is to monitor network activity so Windows can log data and provide diagnostics. The problem is it runs 24-7, even while you're gaming. Because it's always tracking, it eats CPU cycles and RAM, which during online matches can cause lag spikes, inconsistent ping and reduced FPS stability. It's one of those invisible features that can directly ruin your online gaming experience. To disable it, press Win plus R, type regedit, and press enter to open the registry editor. Then copy the exact path from the video description and paste it here. Then hit enter. Once there, double click, start in the right hand panel and change its value to four, which means disabled. Close the editor and restart your PC for the change to take effect. Benefit. With NDU, NDU disabled, you stop hidden memory leaks and background tracking that can disrupt performance. This reduces latency in online games, keeps your ping more stable, and ensures smoother FPS delivery. Step 3. Shutting down Windows Telemetry Windows collects diagnostic data through background telemetry services. Microsoft says this helps improve Windows, but for gamers, it comes at a cost. These collectors run while you play, scanning activity and sometimes uploading data to Microsoft's servers. The problem is that they can trigger mid-match spiking CPU and disk usage and causing stutters or micro freezes. Over long sessions, they become an invisible drain on performance and stability. To stop it, again press Win plus R, type regedit and press Enter to open the registry editor. Then copy the next exact path from the video description and paste it here, then hit enter. If you don't see an entry named allow telemetry, create a new DW word value with that name and set it to zero. This prevents Windows from sending most diagnostic data. Benefit. By shutting down telemetry, you stop Windows from secretly eating CPU cycles and disk activity during your games. 
This leads to more stable FPS, fewer interruptions, and smoother gameplay over longer sessions. Step four, using Process Lasso to take full control of background processes. Even after disabling Windows services, background processes still creep in and interrupt gaming. Update schedulers, telemetry, antivirus scans, and random app updaters can suddenly spike CPU or memory usage without warning. That's why FPS drops seem to appear out of nowhere, even on high-end PCs. This is where Process Lasso becomes a game changer. Unlike Task Manager, which only lets you monitor and tweak settings, Process Lasso automates the process, actively managing CPU usage in real time so no hidden task can hijack resources while you're in-game. To get Process Lasso on your PC, head over to uptopacks.com. On the homepage, click the FPS Boost tab, then look for the thumbnail and title matching this video. Once you spot it, click to start the download instantly. One of the most powerful tools inside Process Lasso is Pro Balance. This feature automatically monitors background tasks and prevents them from overloading your CPU at the worst possible times. Instead of checking Task Manager mid-game, Pro Balance quietly balances CPU loads so your frame rate stays stable. Another essential feature is Idle Saver, which switches your system power plans dynamically. When you're gaming, it ensures your PC runs on maximum performance, and when you're idle, it conserves energy. This stops Windows from sneaking in power throttling updates or tasks while you're playing. The disallowed processes feature is equally powerful, letting you block unnecessary apps from ever running in the first place. That means background updaters, bloatware, or silent startup programs won't even get the chance to consume resources. Combined with watchdog rules, you can even set conditions like automatically restarting a crashed game or throttling services that cross a CPU usage limit. Finally, Process Lasso's affinity management ensures background tasks are locked to specific CPU cores while your main game runs on the fastest ones. This guarantees hidden Windows tasks can't interfere with critical game performance. Benefit By using Process Lasso, you gain full automation over system resources, ensuring hidden Windows processes never hijack your CPU again. The result is more consistent FPS, reduced stutters, and smoother gameplay in every session. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Stopping background services that steal FPS. Windows comes with several services that may seem harmless, but while gaming they quietly chew through your CPU, memory, and even network bandwidth. Think of them as hidden programs, constantly interrupting your system's focus. These services aren't bad. They help with searching, updating, or recording gameplay, but their timing is the problem. During a game, they wake up, steal resources, and cause stuttering, longer loading times, and frustrating frame drops. Disabling or limiting them is one of the most effective ways to stop losing FPS. One of the first culprits is Windows Search Indexing. This feature constantly scans your files and updates a database to make searches faster. While useful when browsing files, it consumes CPU cycles and disk activity during gaming, creating unnecessary frame dips. To disable it, press Win plus R. 
type services.msc and hit enter. In the services manager, scroll until you find Windows search, then double click it. Change the startup type to manual or disabled, depending on how often you use search. To stop it immediately, click stop, then apply and OK. You can re-enable it later if you want instant search outside of gaming. Next is Windows Update. Updates are important for system security, but they love to start downloading or installing right when you're playing, hogging CPU power and internet bandwidth. To prevent this, find Windows Update in Services, double click it and change startup type to manual or disabled. Hit stop to immediately end any active update. Finally, there's the Xbox Game Bar and its related services. Although marketed as a gaming tool, it runs overlays, background hooks and network services that drain memory and CPU. Even if you never use it, it can quietly reduce FPS and add input lag. To disable it, scroll through the services list and look for entries like Xbox Live, Auth Manager, Xbox Accessory Management Service and Xbox Live Networking Service. Right click each one, go to properties, set startup type to disabled and hit stop to shut them down. Benefit. With these services disabled, your CPU, memory and bandwidth are no longer wasted in the background. This reduces random frame drops, cuts input lag and makes your gameplay much smoother. Step 6. Stopping Windows Defender from slowing your games. Windows Defender is great for security, but its real-time protection can hurt gaming performance. It constantly scans files and processes in the background, including your game files as they load. This causes CPU spikes, longer loading times, and frame drops during large map loads or heavy asset streaming. It's like running a marathon while someone keeps checking your backpack. Safe, but disruptive. Adjusting Defender is an important step for smoother gameplay. To temporarily disable it, press Win plus Y, go to Privacy and Security, Windows Security, Virus and Threat Protection, then under Manage Settings, switch real-time protection off before you start gaming. Once you're done, you can turn it back on for safety. If you'd rather not fully disable it, another effective method is to add your game folder to Defender's exclusions list. This way, the antivirus won't scan those files during play, but your system still stays protected. Benefit By disabling or excluding your games from real-time protection, you prevent unnecessary scans from interrupting your CPU. This reduces random performance spikes, shortens loading times, and keeps your gameplay smoother. Step 7. Disabling Windows Widgets Another hidden source of FPS loss comes from widgets and Copilot Preview, two features Microsoft has been pushing into Windows. They provide quick access to news, weather and AI tools, but constantly run background processes like widgets.exe, pulling CPU and memory even if you never use them. Because they refresh in real time, they silently update feeds and sync data while you're gaming, stealing resources that should power your game. Over time, this adds up to stutters, reduced FPS and input delays, which is why disabling them is an important step. To turn them off, press Win plus I to open settings, go to personalization plus taskbar and simply toggle widgets off. If your system has Copilot Preview, you'll find the option in the same section. Disable that too. This ensures they won't be running in the background while you play. Benefit. By disabling widgets and Copilot, you stop constant background updates that consume CPU and memory. This frees more resources for your game, resulting in smoother performance and more consistent frame pacing. Step 8. Fixing Windows Timer Mismanagement Even after shutting down background processes, FPS can still suffer because of how Windows manages system timers. This hidden setting is rarely touched, but it can impact smoothness. By default, Windows uses a platform clock to schedule CPU tasks, but it isn't always efficient for gaming. It can spread power unevenly across processes, leading to stuttering, inconsistent frame pacing and input lag. Think of your CPU as a conductor. If the timing is off, the whole performance feels messy. That's exactly what happens in games when timer management isn't optimized. To fix this, open command prompt as administrator, then type the following command that you can copy from the video description. Press enter and restart your PC. 
What this does is disable the platform clock, forcing Windows to use a more consistent timing method that prioritizes smooth CPU scheduling. This means your games get real-time priority, while background tasks no longer interfere with frame delivery. Benefit. By fixing timer mismanagement, you ensure your CPU delivers frames evenly and consistently. This reduces stutter, improves input response, and makes your overall gameplay experience feel smoother. And that's how you silence the hidden FPS killers inside Windows. Try these tweaks and watch your games run smoother than ever. Don't forget to hit like, drop a comment with your FPS gains, and subscribe for more performance boosting tips.